All right, I'm here at AWS reInvent 2023, and it's day two. I have one and only Nick Dobbins with me, field CTO at uh, Informatica. Uh, welcome to the Robert Show, Nick. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's such a pleasure. I know uh, we've been hearing so many insights from so many data leaders out here, and uh, there's so much that's coming up in 2024 as well. We'll be definitely digging into it and uh, learning more about the trends and techniques from you. But for our audience, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, appreciate it. So, Nick Dobbins, I'm the, the Global Field CTO at Informatica. I've uh, been with Informatica for 17 years, and, and really part of the data management data space for a little over 20. Wow. So, love this space, really passionate about the topic, love working with customers around it, so happy to be on today. Awesome, and with data, I know we can't go out uh, without Gen AI, AI talks. Uh, so, since you work with, uh, closely with a lot of customers as well, and I'm pretty sure they they might be as excited as we all are about Gen AI. Uh, but do you want to share like what are some of the critical challenges to you know get that success for an enterprise when it comes to AI? Yeah, sure. I mean, so you know when I think of Gen AI and the AI buzz, you know. Whether people are ready for it or they want to, like the boards, the EC, you know, the executive team, they're they're telling technology exactly. people, yeah. we need to do this. Yeah. You know, go figure it out. Exactly. And so I think there's an immense amount of pressure on you know technology teams, business teams to figure out what it is. I think it's one of the biggest challenges is True. what is success, right? Like what are those use cases? What should we be doing? So exactly. Shows like this I think is bet generating a lot more buzz and it's starting to create a little bit more specifics. But yeah. that definition it's something to fight for. It's a big deal. It's hard. Yeah, exactly. And I can only imagine because uh, I, I talk to a lot of data enterprise leaders as well and even with all the buzz, they want to they go out and tell me that Robert, Gen AI and everything is good. We want to see real applications happening around. And uh, do you do you also get such type of you know questions where what's the real type of applications? Where is it? You know, uh, where can we apply Gen AI for real? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, tons of <laughs> sorry, little interruption. No worries. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tons of use cases, and ultimately, what it really comes back to for us, right? We're, we're you know when you think of Informatica, we're not going to create these the different AI modules and do a lot of the use case analytics. Yeah. What we're here for really is to, to solve probably the biggest issue that's there no matter what. Yeah. And that's delivering trusted data. Hmm. You know, making sure that people can get connected and access to data wherever it is in the organization. Very true. Make sure they understand it, provide metadata around it. Exactly. Get it in a good, useful form. And, and, and you know, talking to a lot of data engineers, right, this is this is their key aspect of Very you know, true. what's yeah. their role, right? Like it's getting data to AI in the right form. So we're really there to help them with lots of tools to make sure it gets there well. Okay, that's awesome. In terms of, uh, you know, talking about data engineers, I'm pretty sure, you know, I've seen obviously Informatica helping a lot of data engineering teams out there. Uh, do you want to share any of the use cases that, you know, these data engineers kind of come up with or any that Informatica has that you would like to share? Sure. I, you know, so from a data engineering perspective, I think some of the biggest challenges that's now unfolded in front of them is yeah. the, the amount of new data that they have to go after. Mm -hmm. the, this unstructured yeah. data that's there, data that's not even textual and form anymore, yeah. right? Like yeah. the audio, the video, and everything that goes with it. True. Doing it more real time, that's another big new challenge that we have. And, you know, I think what we've seen from an informatical perspective and a little of how we're tackling this is, you know, we still fall back on the roots of data management. Yeah. But one of the lessons we learned is data engineers want to be able to do it, you know, in what they're comfortable with, in Python, in their code, whatever it may be. Yeah. So how do we take what's traditionally more of our, you know, no code or low code type scenarios and make it available to them yeah. in a very familiar and useful fashion? That's so things like in InfoCore is something we've released where it's yeah. you know, Python based SDKs around. Yeah. You know, all of our data management capabilities. So leveraging quality, connectivity, and all of that right in the case of it is something that's really, really big for us. No, I love it. And in terms of, you know, just on that topic itself, like, I know a lot of innovations that Informatica kind of comes up with in, in the data engineering. Uh, like, y'all are also coming up with a data engineering product, or you already have that, right? Would you like to share a little about that as well? Sure, so, you know, I, I kind of led uh, led on to InfraCore, definitely something focused purely at 
the data engineering crowd. Okay. Uh, a little into our, our model hub where we're taking some of these models and help orchestrate it together. Yeah. So just trying to take all of the goodness that Informatica's had yeah. around metadata and understanding things and quality and even the privacy aspects of it. Yeah. And making it very available as, as Python or Java or whatever that may be. Yeah. And then, yeah, you know, here at AWS, right, not, not to be remiss, some of the big announcements there is, you know, we've hopped in and said, all right, with S3 and with Healthcare Cloud and all those different scenarios, a lot of native integrations to really help that out. Yeah, yeah. And I think the biggest one is, right, Bedrock. Oh, wow. AI, yes. right? Like I heard about it. Out there yes. and some, some, you know, months in advance type of effort working with AWS to figure out what's that integration? How do we, you know, simplify getting that trusted metadata, that trusted data into the bedrock engine Truly. where people can yeah. really easily build apps, yeah. you know, build different experiences with that. So we're yeah. really, really excited about what to come on that integration. I can't wait. In terms of, uh, I know 2024 is just around the corner, and uh, this is my favorite question when we are towards the end of the year, that what what are your, some of your predictions for 2024? Where do you see Gen AI, data engineering, Data analytics space moving, and how is Informatica getting on the getting on that wheel? I would say, yeah. Yeah. So, so 2024, I, I think is going to be a really interesting year, yep. right? So we've hit we've hit that hype cycle this year. Nice. Yes. Just crazy Gen AI, not everybody's going after it. Governments are starting to hop in a little bit with some different regulations and how we want to manage it. Yeah. I think 2024 is going to be the year of responsible AI. It's going to be that answer to it to make sure are people using data they're allowed to use? True, true. Is it, is it trusted? Is it biased? Is it unbiased? All those different types of scenarios. Yeah. It, it's going to be huge to make sure that, that that's all you know, relevant and available and kind of looked after. So I think you know, Informatica is in a very unique spot to, to know from a, whether it's data engineering, whether it's true pipelines, whether it's other things, the metadata that goes with it, the usage of where it goes, where did it come from, all those types of scenarios really help them back to make sure it's trusted. Yeah. You know, and it's responsible use as we go with it. So I think that's one. And another big one, and, and this one may be more confrontational, but I should think going through 2024, we're going to see more and more standardization on on data ecosystems. Right. Right now, right, everyone's kind of picking all these different tools. But I think with all this focus on AI, they want to spend so much money there, mm. so much attention there, that they're not going to have time to take care of stitching all these different techs together. Love so it. I think looking yeah. at more of these integrated suites where the services are already built together yeah. and just available via different user experiences is going to be another big thing that we see as 2024 moves on. I can't wait, definitely. These are great insights. One last question as we conclude towards, like I know data engineering, again, will be one of the biggest, uh, you know, practices that every team would be getting into so do you do you have any advice for those who are you know in the data engineering say in their career or they have the data engineering teams any my only advice with data engineering is stick with it I mean yeah. those that those of you that are out there in the practice or interested in it you are going to be a critical critical piece to everything moving forward all AI requires a massive amount of data and metadata, and you are the individuals that are, are delivering that to the, the AI element. The only other one is don't shortcut it. Like it, I, I know you can do some things very quick and easy, but over time, the, the idea of having trust and having lineage and having no order, having data protection built in, it's going to be required. Don't get yourself in trouble. Don't make yourself do the rework. Do it right the first time. I love it. Thanks, Nick, uh, Nick for doing this. It was, uh, you've shared some amazing insights, and I'm definitely looking for 2024, and uh, uh, Informatica is doing amazing in the space. So can't wait to see uh, what's next that's coming up. And uh, for anyone who wishes to learn more from Nick, I think LinkedIn is the best place to reach out to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Directly reach out to me anytime at LinkedIn, so Nick Dobb, it's very easy to find at Informatica. Also, if you're just curious about what Informatica has to offer, informatica.com, a great product scene. You get out there and see all sorts of information about what we have to offer. Nick is a cool guy to hang out with, so you always know. Thanks, Nick, uh, and welcome to The Robert Show again. Thank you very much. Awesome. Have a good one.